Hi everyone, well just a quick update on the road and the road naming competition. Need to get you involved. So uh, the road is going to be built this year, this autumn. They've said September and October before they were like September. So why do these things always go back further? You never get people in construction going, I can do it sooner than you imagine, but I'm slowing down, trusting God, we'll get the timing right. So. The road starts building in autumn and we need to know what to call it. I think it's really exciting that we're going to have a road towards eternal wall and we want to link the name to what we're trying to achieve to make hope visible. So what we're doing is we're asking you for your ideas and your thoughts. Let me give you a bit of a, a brief. So it'll either be something road or something way or something drive. Those are the three endings that we're working on. Now, we want to uh, have a name that captures a story of hope. Um, or you might want to just give it a more generic name like Remembrance Way or something like that. So in terms of a story of hope, we want to either get a story from history somebody that um, you know through the ages has got an incredible story of hope an incredible answered prayer you know Wilberforce Way for example might be an interesting one or and this is probably a bit more exciting maybe it's somebody you know somebody you know that has got an incredible story of when they prayed and God has answered okay so there are some legal rules that we have to abide to by naming a road first one is we cannot name it after somebody living like Sally Smith Road. I don't know if Sally Smith is living, let's hope she is. And you can't even use the surname Smith Road. And then secondly, if we're going for a non-living person, then we have to be able to have access uh, to get permission from their family. So don't give us a difficult one like Abraham Lincoln Road. All right, so we need your input. We need your input. This is what you get if you win. Which is how exciting is this? You have a road. Your, the, your idea for a road will be the road that goes to eternal wall. And, and what we want to do is that when people are, maybe they're queuing up to get in, that would be good, wouldn't it? And they're queuing in their cars, they'll be able to point their phone at the road sign and their phone will light up and it will tell them the story of hope that that road represents, that road name ro represents. Same as the way it's going to work with the bricks and the wall and everything. So, first of all, you get to name the road. Secondly, your, your story is on the road. Thirdly, we'll get you to come and cut the scissors on the road when we open it. That'll be exciting. And we'll give you a little plaque, I think. Should we do that? We'll give you a little plaque with the name of the road. So I want you, please, please get involved. Please, can you, Go on to the, uh, the link below, there it is probably, and uh, email us, tell us what your idea is, and then we'll put you into the competition. I'll tell you how it's gonna work in a minute. Or in the social media below, please tag in a friend that you think has got a good story that they could share, okay? So we want a real, it's gotta be a humdinger, hasn't it? Do you think for the name of the road it's got to be a humdinger so this is the way the competition's going to work i think so far we've got over 100 entries we need loads more than that we will look at them all we will narrow it down and we'll present you with the best five and then we will get social media to vote on the best five i can tell you Rody mcroad face road is probably not going to make the best five just for the person who put that one in already name for the road yeah. roadie mcroad face yeah. so please get involved it's a great fun thing to do but it's a really important it sets the tone for what we're trying to achieve and i just love the fact that the project eternal war is crowdfunded we're asking people from all over the world to put in their money and help us do it it's crowdsourced we've got hundreds of people volunteering giving their skills and it's crowd created we've got thousands upon thousands of people sharing their stories of hope to create this piece of public art and we want one more 
story of hope to create the name of the road. Please get involved, please be part of it. I'll keep you posted.